Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna design a transparent header, something that's really popular in web design. Here is a example, here is a example, and here is an example. We love those big image backgrounds and then the menu is overlapping the content on the page. So that's what we're gonna design today for free in WordPress. That's my alarm. <laughs> All right, welcome back. This video idea came from one of you, um, from the man named Stem, and he said in Dutch, like, hey, how do you get a transparent header um, with Elementor for free? Can you make a tutorial about it? And that's a great idea because last week we have designed this section together and this is all done within Elementor. But the problem with Elementor for free is that you can only edit the content um, between the header and the footer. So if you just create a page in Elementor like this, you still don't have a footer and a header. So there's no top and bottom. And if you use a free team, it's gonna actually look like this. This is what you get out of the box when you install a free team like OceanWP, which we're gonna use today, but you can customize this header and this footer at the bottom. Uh, we're gonna delete this footer at the bottom because we have designed our own footer here, but the header right now is very ugly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna transform this header into this header. All right, it has four pages, it has a cool hover animation, and it works on all pages. And if you've designed a new page, you can easily add it to the menu and it still works, all right? So let's get started. The first thing that I did is install the team Ocean WP, or I should say Ocean WP. No, <laughs> Ocean WP. Um, that's a team that's free, it's very popular. If you just go to appearance teams and click on add new, you can search here for ocean and, and then it pops up. No, it doesn't pop up. If you type ocean WP, it pops up and you can activate the team. So then you will get this. All right, so now we're gonna customize this. We're not gonna do this in Elementor because with Elementor for free, you cannot edit the header and the footer. We need to do that within the team. So we're gonna click on customize over here. And we're gonna wait till it's loaded. All right, I'm gonna zoom out a little. So here are the editing options for the team. Um, and let's just first delete the footer because we don't need this footer. So we're gonna scroll down to footer widgets. That's this part. You can add widgets uh, on your website within WordPress, but we're not gonna need this. So we're gonna just disable the fo footer widget and then it's deleted and now we're gonna go to the footer bottom and we're also gonna disable that. And now we just have a clean footer. We still have this button so we can scroll up really fast. Um, so that's it for the footer. So if we click on publish now and we click on the X, this is the page now. If we scroll down, there's no footer. So it actually worked. Okay, now, First thing before we're gonna add the design is we need to add a menu in here. Um, because if we don't have assigned a menu before we're gonna edit the design, we cannot see the pages. So we need to make the menu first. So what you need to do is hover over your name and then you click on menus. I click on comment and then I click on menu so it pops up in a new window and there's no menu yet as you can see. So we're gonna create our main top menu. I always call it top main because sometimes you have different uh, menus. So this is the main menu. Uh, for the top, we're gonna click on create menu and now we're gonna add pages to that menu. So on the left here, you click on home. Uh, I want portfolio, I want about and contact and I'm gonna click on add to menu. It's very easy, now we can just drag it in the order that we want. Uh, contact needs to be at the end, uh, maybe portfolio. Yeah, something like this. Um, so now here at the bottom, we need to tell WordPress where the menu should pop up. Uh, WordPress calls this the main menu. So we're gonna click on main and now we're gonna click on save menu. If we then go back to our page and we click on refresh, the menu should show up here as you can see. And this is the default design for Ocean WP. And now we're gonna change this so it will look like this, all right. So click on customize again. 
Okay, it's loaded and now we need to delete this bar and we need to delete, delete this bar because we only need our logo, our name and our menu item. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to general options and this part is called page title. So we're going to click on page title. Uh, you can now really delete it, but you can hide it. So go to style and then press hidden. And if you wait for it to load, you can see that it's deleted it's hidden it's still there but you can see it we also need to, to to do the same thing for this top bar so go back go back and we go to top bar and here we can just easily disable it so we're going to click on enable uh, uncheck the enable box now that's also gone so now this already looks a lot better so we're going to go back we're going to go to header go to general and now the style, here are some different styles. And this is different for every team. And this is why I chose uh, Ocean WP, um, or I should say Ocean WP, because Ocean WP has a lot of options to really customize the menu here. So as you can see, here is the transparent option. So if you click on transparent, you can see that the team automatically puts the content beneath the menu and it deletes the background white image. But now it's not really visible, so that's what we're gonna change. First of all, we're gonna change the height because as you can see, there's a lot of white space here. Um, so go back and just increase the height. Just let's, let's just say put it on 90, for example, and disable the header border bottom. Um, so this line will go away. All right, this already looks a lot better. Uh, there's still a search icon here and the colors are not right. But first we're gonna change the logo. So go back and go to logo. And now we need to select a logo. So we're gonna click on select. And I've already uploaded a logo. Uh, it's just a PNG image. So select it, click on it. You can click on skip cropping. And then if you wait, you can see that the logo is now here. It, it has already a hover effect. Make it smaller by changing the max width. Don't make your logo too big because that looks very cheap. Something like this is good enough. So that's perfect. Go back and click on menu. And here are some styling options that we need to change. First, there is the links effect. There are a lot of different effects. Most of them are pretty cheap. I used underline from left and as you can see then this line at the bottom animates in. It doesn't look the same yet but it's the same effect. Uh, so we changed the color for the link effect to the color of my logo. So that's the color for my logo. So now as you can see the line looks a little bit more like the design. Now we're gonna go to main styling. Uh, first we're gonna make the text white so we can actually see our menu items. So click on white. This already looks a lot better. And for the hover effect I used a slightly darker color than white. So you can see that something is happening but not uh, a lot. So just go to white and then make it a little more gray. And now you can't really see it because it's really small, but that's the effect that I used. Okay, so scroll down and go to the search icon. I don't want a search icon, so I'm gonna put it on disable. And now the search icon will be gone. Yes, now it's gone. And now we need to change the styling of the typography. Um, we cannot do it in here. We need to go to typography. And then again, this is this is different for every team. So sometimes you're spending a lot of time searching in the menus. That's why I also recommend that you buy Elementor Pro because with an Elementor Pro, you don't have to go inside the team settings. You can just do everything within Elementor. Uh, but for now we're using uh, this. So let's just go to main menu, font family. We're gonna pick the font that I used for my website. Yes, it's here. Montserrat, that's the font that I used. Font size, we're gonna make that bigger. I think I used 16 or something. Maybe even bigger, maybe I used 18. Yes. Uh, the weight, it's pretty bold. Maybe even like 700. Yeah, maybe this one is even 20. Or is it, no, I think it's 18, but I've, I'm zoomed in. Yeah, I think I'm zoomed in, that's why. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it at 18. 
And as you can see, this already looks pretty nice. And now the only thing we need to do is change the mobile settings for this. So click here on uh, the mobile icon. And now we can see how it looks on a mobile device. It adds this text here. And if you click on it, this is not the style that we want. So we can also change this on mobile. So go back, go back, go to header, go to mobile menu. And here mobile menu style, we can change another style. So for example, drop down. All right, so now if we click on it, this looks more like what we want. Display the menu text. No, we don't want that. So we only have this nice hamburger icon. All right, this looks already a lot better. And we can even change this hamburger icon if we want to. There are a lot of cool uh, icons here. Uh, some of them are really cheap. Oh, this is the black one, as you can see. So I need to make it white. Let's just try it. You can try different effects here. For example, collapse is pretty nice. If you then click on the icon, you know, there's a nice animation here. It's, it's very simple, very clean. And if you scroll down, you can uh, disable the search bar for your menu over here. All right, this already looks pretty good. And here we can also change the colors. Of course, I'm gonna make the hover color the same purple color. All right, and maybe just make the borders also white so there are actually no borders. This looks pretty good. All right, I think this is good enough for now. I'm gonna click on X and I'm gonna go back to web and I'm gonna click on publish and let's just see what we've uh, created. So click on the X and as you can see right now, oh, I think it's, yeah, it's a little bit too big. I think I need to put it on 16, but as you can see, this is pretty nice. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. And the great thing about this is that it's free. And now we use the team settings to change the menu. Um, like I said, I use Elementor Pro to create all of my menus and my footers because I just like the way that Elementor works instead of you know, going into the team settings and changing all, all of that. But this is free, this is free. You cannot do everything in a menu, but a simple menu like this works and it looks pretty good. So um, if you have any other questions about how to make this website, please let me know. And then I hope to see you in the next video.